Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kemmer, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. And you hold off till he appears. The Sage? Ooh. The Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. For a time, but not long. been since our last meeting, Senor Prince. A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Ah, see. Much has changed in that short time, you know. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that force last year. Ah, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Ah, convert them? God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Slave and fellow Christian. Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. That's my last warning. I find your bearing I believe all thinking feel I find you yeah. I find your bearing appalling Prince I believe all thinking feeling men deserve respect and opportunity Ah oh, you Spaniards your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should live. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, we where do you think you're going? Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Here, Scott. The short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it... In the short term, it makes us money, see.
in the short term, it makes us money, see. Sí. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, oh, and uh, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So I bought <laughs> ah! <laughs> For virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Oh, Taurus. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Other stories about you too, sir. You were a governor in Florida for a time. Ooh, a rhino I'm one of a number of people servants in my family. You get back here! Damn it! I'm one of the number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough ears. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one. And a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer. In favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources. Where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough. Sack Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged in one on the battle. That skirmish was a deadly one, and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. 
It wasn't until many years after that I sheared my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheared my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources. That's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, Honor 4 is more enjoyable than Honor 1, if a touch less permanent. came alone, Horace? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! No. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Ah. You cocked up my kill, Kenway! For a better call! After Prince. Kate, no! Jim, stop! Not this time, Kenway. <laughs> Come on, man! We can work this together! You had your chance! Stand aside, you fellas! Stay your blade, kid! Wait! You just have to pull the trigger. Right. Jim, stop! Ah. Damn you, old trap! Keep your nutty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that? <laughs> 